Hello all. So first of all, there is a very much important announcement that I want to make. From uh, previous videos, I am telling you that go to go through this playlist because the questions in Accenture are of similar pattern. So there are proofs now that the questions, coding questions that have been asked in Accenture hiring. So many of them have been on the same pattern as I have discussed before. If some questions are on the different patterns, then again I am making some videos regarding it. So again, if you are preparing for the Accenture assessment for coding assessment, you can go through this playlist. I am telling you from previous videos, but do note this point and go through this playlist so that you can get to know that what type of questions are getting asked in the Accenture hiring. Okay. So in this video also, we'll be discussing one coding question. The name of that question is the next smaller number. So again, it is bit on the medium level side, but let's just I will explain you each and everything how what is the question how to approach the question and what is the coding solution of this particular question so make sure that you are watching this video till the end and guys guys if you have not subscribed to the channel till now please subscribe it because lot more videos will be coming in the future and once this assess uh, exams are over then interviews will mails will be coming so interview discussions will also we will have on this channel so make sure that you do not miss any of these updates and subscribe this channel and also guys do join our telegram groups also the links you will find in the description box because we post regular information about your queries about the hirings that are happening about some patterns of the exam so uh, do join those telegram groups okay so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button so guys the question that we will be discussing in this video is the next smaller number first of all i will explain you the question with the help of example then we'll move towards the approach of this question and then finally at the end i will show you the code how to write the code for this particular question so now let's start this video okay so first moving with the question the function accepts an integer array a of size m replace each number of the array with the nearest smaller number on its right in the array okay assumption is that all integers present inside the array will be greater than zero there is one note also that is return null if array is null so if array is empty you will have to return null replace number with minus one if no number is present on its right so let's just first read the question and like again and then see the example the things will be much clearer to you the function accepts an integer n integer array a of size m replace each number of the array with the nearest smaller number on its right in the array let's just quickly now look at the example the things will be clear so this is our input array okay this is an input array of length 8 so 3 2 11 7 6 5 6 1 are the elements of the array now for we have to now what we have to do for every number for every number we will have to find the nearest smaller number on the right Again, I'm telling you for each number, we have to find the nearest smaller number on the right side of that number. So let's just see. So if we will start from three here, so what will be the nearest smaller number to three? That is the number that is less than three and it is nearest to it on the right side. So next number is two. So two is less than three. So answer will be two and two is the nearest one to the three. Next is two. So what number is less than two and it is nearest to two on its right side. So next number is 11. So it is not smaller than uh, two. Next is seven. It is not smaller than two. Next is six, not smaller than two. Similarly, this six, not smaller than two. And similarly, this one. So here one is the nearest smaller number on the right side of two, which is less than, less than two. So answer will be one here because one is the next uh, smaller number to two next question uh, next uh, uh, example is 11 so nearest number that is less than 11 is 7 so we will stop here only and we will not move ahead so once you have found a smaller number nearest to 11 uh, nearest to the current number we will stop there only and we will simply output that and we will not move any forward next is 7 so uh, again uh, smaller than 7 is 6 so we have done 6 here next is 6 again smaller than 6 is 5 and we will not move ahead and we will just write it here so we will have to find the nearest smaller number on the right side of the element the so next is 5 but is the nearest smaller number that is less than 5 uh, it is uh, next is 6 so 6 is greater than 5 next is 1 it is less than 5 so again the next smaller number on the right side of 5 that is smaller than 5 is 1 again 6 we will move towards the right side and you will find that the number that is smaller than 6 it is 1 so again 1 and now 
we are on the one so next smaller number that is smaller than one and it is nearest to one on the right side is no number so if no such number is present then the answer will be minus one okay then the answer will be minus one simple now let me just change this input and the things will become more crystal clear to you one first number is one then two then three okay so seven so again for the last number for the last number there is no such smaller number every time for every test case for the last number answer will be minus one so again we will be starting from first number let's just see so for the next one number to one on the right side you, if you will clearly see it is nothing so if there is no, no number present we will give minus one next smaller number on the right side of two less than two nothing we will do minus one next smaller number than three on the right side there is nothing again we will give minus one similarly with minus four Sim, uh, similarly with minus one here similarly with five also similarly with six as there are no smaller numbers that are present to the right side of the current number minus one minus one so this was the entire question i hope the question is clear to you it is very simple if we are on the current number we will have to find the nearest smaller number on the right side of the current number so if there is no such number exists then we will simply give minus one and for the last for the last element of the array the answer will always be minus one because there is no further elements on the right side of the last element so i hope now the question is clear to you let's just quickly move towards the approach and then we will ha see how to write the code for this same okay so guys now let's see the approach of this question so this is our input array 3 2 11 7 6 5 6 1 and what we will do we will use an extra we will use an extra space one that is stack we will be using so this one is our stack okay let me just write it so stack based approach we will be using so this is our stack and it, we know that stack is last in first out approach okay next is the output array because we will have to find we will have to find the uh, what we have to find the next smaller number and we have to store it somewhere okay so now what we will do what we will do we will simply start iterating this input array from behind so i have given the direction also from behind we will start we will start iterating the array and for every element for every element what we will do we will uh, i will explain that when, once we will uh, start doing the iteration one so as i have told you earlier for the last element the answer will always be minus one because there is no such element that is present on the right side of the last element so this is our output array so for the last element we will give it minus one and what we will do what we will do and we will now push this last element into the stack so we have pushed this last element into the stack okay now for the uh, the role of this particular the role of this particular element is done next is six now we have to find the next smaller number nearest next smaller number to six so what we will do now see we have placed one in the stack now what we will do we will compare this six we will compare this six value with the top of the stack we will compare this six value with the top of the stack so the current value is six and top of the stack value is one so if our current value is greater than the top of the stack it means that it means that on the top of the stack the next nearest next nearest smaller number to six is present so but what is present on the top of the stack it is one so therefore the next smaller number to six will be one now what we'll do we will simply do we will simply push six into it okay so why we had done it we have compared this six with the top of the stack and if that current value if the value of six is greater than the top of the stack it means that the element that is present on the top of the stack is the next nearest number to that number so we have done one here and we have pushed six into the stack now moving ahead with the five now we will again compare this five with the top of the stack <clears throat> okay we will compare this five with the top of the stack now what we'll do you, you can see that five is less than six five is less than six but what we'll do we have to find the nearest smaller number nearest smaller number to the right of this uh, right of the five so five is greater than uh, five is less than six so it means that six is uh, the, the top of the stack is not the smaller than the current element so what we'll do we will pop this element from the stack okay next what we'll do we will again compare this five with the top of the stack now we can see that the top, uh, our current element is greater than the top of the stack that is one so it means the next nearest number to five is one only so we have pushed one here and now what we'll do we'll push five into the stack now we are moving towards the next element that is six 
So again, we will first compare this 6 with the top of the stack. Now, 6 is greater than 5, it means that the top of the stack is less than the current number. And if this is the case, then the top of the stack is the nearest, is the nearest smaller number on the right side. So here, we will put the value of top of the stack as 5 and we will push 6 here. Okay, we will push 6 here. Now we are moving to 7. So again, the current element is greater than the top of the stack. So it means the nearest smaller number to 7 is 6. So we will give 6 here and we will we will push 7 here. Next is 11. So again, the current number is greater than the top of the stack. So what we will give? We will give top of the stack here and we will push 11 here. Okay. Next number is 2. Now comes the very important part. <clears throat> so next number is 2. We will again compare this number with the top of the stack. So is 2 greater than 11? The answer is no. 2 is not greater than 11. There, there it means that, see, remember one thing, the top of the stack should always be less than less than the current element so is 2 greater than 11 the answer is no so what we'll do we'll pop it now 2 is greater than 7 answer is no we will pop it now 2 is greater than 6 answer is no we will pop it now 2 is greater than 5 answer is no we will pop it now is 2 greater than 1 the answer is yes so it means that once we have found on the top of the stack that our element of the top of the stack is less than the current element then that element on the top of the stack will be our next smaller number that is 1 here and now we'll push 2 2 here next we have find 3 so is current element greater than the top of the stack the answer is yes so we will in this output array we will move 2 here that is top of the stack and we'll uh, push 3 into it okay so now our iteration is over and in the output array we have our answer so if you will look closely it is the correct answer 2176511 so it is 2176511 and minus 1 in the last so this is the entire approach we have to follow we will just have to compare the current element with the top of the stack till till the current element is greater than the top of the stack till that we have to compare okay so i hope now the approach is also clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding solution of this particular question okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code so in accenture you will just have to implement the function only that is your input will be given and what you have to return will be given you just have to implement the function inside this particular uh, inside this particular block okay so but one thing you have to notice that as of now for explaining purpose i have taken the return type and the uh, input as of my own but it will change when you will go in actual exam so the, the return type you will have to look carefully that what is the return type and what you have to return from the function so this particular uh, function is just for explaining you how you have to write the logic so do not like just blindly copy this code in your exam just make sure that you are checking what is the return type what is the input type in this function and then only copy those values okay because the names can change the data type can change and the return type can also change so don't just blindly copy this question in your exam just follow this logic and just do the return type as per your function is suggesting in the exam not as per mine code here okay so let's having said that let, let's move ahead so as i told you we will be using the stack database uh, stack data structure so this is the stack data structure you have to declare stack but again for using this stack data structure you will have to import this library hash include this library so in accenture you are allowed to include these libraries okay so just include these libraries as well for using this stack data structure okay so what we have done initially the stack is empty we have pushed the last element of the array in the stack and we have in this array only we have made the update that last element will be minus one as i have told you as i have told you the the element next smaller element to the right of one will always be minus one so we have pushed first of all the last element to the stack and then we have modified our current array only to minus one okay so here i am not forming any new array i am just I am just modifying the current array only. So make sure to do this. Okay. Next thing what we have done, we are iterating over the iterating over the array from behind. As I have told you, we will be iterating over the array from behind towards the left side. Now for every element, this is int x is, is our current element. For every element, we will check the the element that is present on the top of the stack. And as I have told you that when the top of the stack is greater than the current element when the top of the stack is greater than the current element we will pop that element because that element will not be required and till when we will do it 
we will do it till the time our top of the stack is less than the current element so again i am repeating we will pop the elements from the stack till the time our top of the stack is greater top of the stack is greater than the current element till that time we will continue to pop the elements as i have told you in the approach section if you have missed it do watch that approach section also just rewind 2 3 minutes back okay next we have our current element now now once we have popped all the element from the top of the stack which were greater than the current element now once this while loop is over it means either our stack will be empty either our stack will be empty or the top of the top element of the stack will be less than the current element so if our stack is empty after this particular loop it means that there is no element no next smaller element that is present in the array on the right side of the current element so we'll simply update our current element of arr with minus 1 but if the stack is not empty after this while loop is over it means that the top of the element of the stack is now less than the current element that is x so else in that case what we'll do we will put in s dot top as i have told you here we are putting s dot top so and later on after this iteration is over we will just push the current element also that is s dot push x we have just pushed the current element also in this stack like if we were doing like this then we are pushing 6 also okay as i have told you in the approach section if you still have doubts you can again go back to the video and look for it again i am explaining you just in simple terms we will for the current element we will uh, pop out the top elements from the stack till the stack is either empty or till the top element of the stack is less than the current element and if our after popping these elements if our stack is empty we will it means that there is no next smaller element present for this current element and will update the arr of i with minus 1 and else if the top of the stack is not empty and top it means that after this loop the top of the stack element is the next smaller element for the current element okay so we were just we are just updating arr of i with s dot top and again at the last we are pushing the current element in this stack and once this for loop is over you will have your entire Uh, entire output array in this arr only as i have done changes in the current array only and i have not formed any new array so this was all the approach i wanted to discuss but again i am telling you remember to change the return type data type as per your as per your code just just follow the logic from here but do not blindly copy from here okay so let's just now quickly run the test cases that i have shown you so input value is 7 then uh, if the If these are the values one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then our answer should be minus one for all the ones, all the cases. Because if you will look closely, there is no next smaller element present to the current element on the right side. So here, all the elements should be minus one. And if I just copy these values only, three, two, eleven, seven, six, five. Uh, let me just copy quickly. Three, two, eleven, seven, six, five, six, then one, and these are eight elements. In this, we will get our expected output as I have shown you earlier. What should be our expected output? It should be two one seven six five one one minus one. So it is two one seven six five one one minus one. So this particular test case will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. But one base case we forgot that is if our n is double equivalent to zero, we will simply return null. Because here in the question we were given this noting statement, return null if array is null. Okay, so I hope this particular thing is clear. But again, I am telling you, do modify these return types as per your actual code. Do not just blindly copy this code because once this return type changes, so this return statements also changes. Okay, and all there are different things that change too. So you will have to make those amends as per your question, as per your parameters that is given. so i hope now this thing is clear to you and guys do follow our channel for more such updates because lot of interview experiences also will we will cover in coming days and lot of these questions for different different slots we will cover in coming days so i hope all these things are clear to you do share this channel among your friends also and thank you for watching this video